my customer brought this phone with a display problem so i actually noticed that the phone is actually displaying but there is no backlight in the phone so i solve backlight problem in the phone in a very simple way so in this video i'm going to take you through the steps that i use to solve the backlight problem so make sure you stay tuned as soon as i open the phone and disconnect the display flex i notice that there is one line on the display flex one track that is broken so because the track was broken i had to do jumper that is the reason why i connected this wire right here so that i will check the the connector in the display connector which the the backlight voltage is coming out from which was supposed to be this so when i switch on the phone the phone was vibrating and uh, there was image so when i switch on the phone right here and check the backlight voltage here on this pin which was supposed to be 25 volt i did not get any voltage from there so from there i knew that there is an open circuit or maybe the backlight uh, section the backlight ic is dirt so i had to observe the motherboard and check if the if the backlight ic is dirt or there is an open open circuit so after observing the motherboard i was able to easily identify the backlight section i was able to easily identify the backlight ic so right now you will have to listen carefully so that you will understand how i get to solve this problem here is the backlight ic and here is the boost coil so what i did is that i switch on the phone and here as you can see this capacitor here i switch on the phone this capacitor is supposed to get a 25 volt that is going directly to the display connector that is going directly to the backlight on the display so i checked the 25 volt there and there was 25 volt on the dial so from there i knew that the backlight ic is okay and there is an open circuit from the backlight section to the display connector so what i had to do is that i just had to wire a cable from the capacitor then to the to the uh, cable that I sold that in, in the display flex you understand right so when I did that everything was working quite well so I hope that this video helps and you understand at least something in the video it's very easy that is why I always say that learn how to identify all mobile ICs and if you are watching this video meanwhile you don't know how to identify all ICs on a mobile phone and you should check the, this video description you will see two videos right there it will be episode one and episode two of how to identify all mobile ICs on mobile so if you are watching this video meanwhile you have been watching all my videos then I think you understand everything because you will be able to identify all these things if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section I will try to get back to you